friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the second episode of Wrapped Up Retro. Wrapped Up is a Christmas series I always do on my channel and this year, Wrapped Up Retro, I have wrapped up the 50 oldest books on my TBR. <laughs> and I'm kind of regretting it but I'm also excited. I feel very excited to finish the books and read the books that have been on my TBR for a long time. There's a deep sense of satisfaction about finishing a book and reading a book that you have owned for a very long time. <laughs> So, it's our second episode, first episode, I won't spoil anything if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out, but um, it wasn't the most successful. <laughs> Let's not go there. And it's time to pick what we're going to be reading today. Um, I don't know what to go for. I'm not feeling a super long book once again. Okay, it's between two. Let me grab them. I feel like it's always between two for me. This one's heavier. This is like... A cloth bound one, maybe. Interesting. That means it's a classic. <laughs> no one's reading that book. That does scare me off a bit, a bit. But part. Uh, no, okay. I'm, I don't know how to get ready for that. I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, are we ready? I'm not. Let's have a look. Let's see what it is. Am I really doing. I've started unwrapping it. I don't have a choice any in the matter. Okay, I'm not looking. You can maybe see what it is. That might be the back. I don't know. Or it might be the front. Oh, you're having a giggle. <laughs> Was this in the books I need to read or on haul video as well? Am I just reading books from that video? <laughs> No way. Was it? I can't remember. I think it was. The first book was in that video as well. Okay, we've got The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen, which truly is one of the oldest books on my TBR. This is one of the few books in this stack that were on my TBR when I started my channel. Because I started my channel in like September of 2019 and I think some of these books go up to like 2021 in terms of the oldest books on my TBR. But this is really one of the oldest and I still remember where I bought it. I bought it in this charity shop at this like stately home that I used to really like going to and it was in this era where I just picked up anything and everything. <laughs> it's the life of a diva, eh? <laughs> they shut the shop stand for me. I truly, like, I did not know what my taste was. And so I think I'd heard someone, I just started watching BookTube and I'd heard someone review this. And so I just recognised it. And so I got it. I read The Golden Couple by Grey Hendrick and Sarah Peckin last year. Oh, holy shit. I should have picked this. A classic is better than this. <laughs> I do not have the highest hopes for this, but there is going to be such a sense of satisfaction for finishing this. Because this is kind of the book, when I think of, like, the books that I own when I started my channel. There's a few more here, but this is one of the ones I really think of and really think of um, in how my reading taste has changed or how I've learned what my reading taste is. So I think it'll be interesting to read a book that I picked up when I didn't really know what my reading taste was yet. I'm excited to give it a go. So I'll see you when I'm a little bit of the ways through it. Um, but I'm not, I haven't got the highest hopes in the world. Let's just say that. Hello friends. It looks like it's night time. It's midday. <laughs> it is the middle of the day. It has just gotten so dark and rainy and stormy outside. It's kind of a vibe though. I do love reading when it's all rainy and I'm inside and like cozy. I am about 100 pages into The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. Guys, I'm actually shocked by how much I'm enjoying this. Now, it's not gonna be five star. It's not gonna be any favorite book. It might not even get a four star, but my expectations were quite low. And I'm just having a lot of fun reading this. So I wasn't expecting that at all. So basically all you need to know about this is we're following the perspectives of two women, the ex-wife and the new wife or soon, new soon to be wife of this man. But he's like, we don't care about him. We care more about these women and their stories. The ex-wife is struggling with the breakup and is kind of a bit obsessed with the whole situation. And the new one is younger and she's a bit more naive and she's trying to navigate like her new life with this rich ass man. And like, she's a preschool teacher and a waitress and like, she's gonna leave that all behind. And like, there's part of her that you feel like is gonna miss that lifestyle. And I just think, I can see why this was so big and it when it came out in what like 2018 god that's like five years ago <gasps> oh my god Jesus Christ don't even talk to me I started uni in 2018 I'm getting older I, I don't know if I can if I want all this drama all the time, if I'm being honest. I'm listening to audiobook. I, this is actually my first audiobook through Borrowbox, my, my library. 
I'm a library girl. <laughs> I'm not very good at like checking ahead of time. I've done that for some books I've got to read in like January, February and like reserve them now, like new releases that I will probably get the audiobook for in January. Um, but this one, cause like it's old, no one, no one, <laughs> no one has reserved it. So I got it straight away. And yeah, the audiobook, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I think there's something compelling about how the story is being told and how the two perspectives, you're kind of, obviously it's got that dual timeline kind of issue where we're following two separate stories, but they're converging enough to keep me interested. You know, it's not incredible, but I can see why it was so successful. Like it's got over 300,000 ratings on Goodreads. I can see why it's so widely read. I can see why it had a bit of a moment. You know, domestic thrillers are never gonna be my kind of thing, but this is less about the man and more about the women. <laughs> women. I just don't like domestic thrillers where, the husband is like, he takes up too much screen time. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, get out of here. <laughs> and yes, they're, they're talking about him and they're, he's interacting with them in their perspectives, but like he's, we can ignore him if we really, if we really want to. And I do really want to. <laughs> I also feel like it's gonna get twisty. I feel like there's gonna be a twist um, maybe at the halfway mark, like really uh, turns the book on its head. And I'm excited to see what that is. I'm not, I mean, if you guys have been here a long time, you know, when I read mystery thrillers, I really do not try to theorize. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I want you to shock me. I put myself into the palms of the author. And I just say, shock me. It's a strange sound from somewhere in my house. I'm sorry if that's annoying. And so if I do come up with what the twist is, then you know it's it's obvious. You know it's bad. <laughs> if I say, oh, I saw it coming. So I can't really theorize. I got some like hints, but I can't really theorize what the twist is gonna be. And I'm really excited to see, because there is gonna be a twist. It has to be. I'm like, we've reached a point now, 110 pages in, where like it's needing something else to move the story along. But I'm really excited to see what that twist is gonna be. I'm like I'm saying, it's probably like a 3.5 at the moment. I'm enjoying it, it's inoffensive, I'm turning my brain off. <laughs> it's requiring no headspace. And that's kind of what I need today. I, I was saying to my patrons, I uploaded my Goodreads. Uh, vlog, no, the day before yesterday, Sunday night. And um, I was saying to them, I felt like yesterday where how I'd feel mentally after I finished exams, where like my brain would just be trying to decompress and be like incapable of doing anything. And like, you're, you've are you been thinking about something for so long. You know, I've been thinking about the Goodreads Choice Awards Mystery Shiller for like basically the whole year in some capacity, like thinking about what is gonna be nominated and when, when it has been nominated, think about what I'm reading, like for the past month, it's been, you know, really at the forefront of my brain. And like, when you lose that, it's a bit disconcerting. Your brain's like, uh, <laughs> what now? <laughs> What's going on? So yesterday I was supposed to film a video to go up on Tuesday and I just, I've never admitted defeat, guys. I've never gotten ready to film a video set up the camera, started filming. I got like a minute in, I, I couldn't do it. Words were not coming out of my mouth. I couldn't talk to you. I never have issues talking. Like I just turn up and chat shit. You know what I mean? I could not, I could not for the life of me do it. So I feel like this is kind of what I need right now where it's light, it's fun. But I do, I saved something to open with you guys. I'm very excited to open. I got this parcel. I think it's from Viper Books. I can't remember, they asked me, I cannot remember what the book is. So we're gonna find out together. I did agree, this is not unsolicited. Viper Books, publish the Janice Hallett books. I'm very, I'm very excited to see what this is. And like, it's a little, it's a little Christmas present. Isn't she so cute? Let's see what's in here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What in the heck? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there's loads of stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's like a hard, what? So I think this is like a food themed, <laughs> a food themed book because we've got a little menu here that it comes with oh telling us what to have and then this is the book oh my god it's like a hard cap hardback it's like the finished version my goodness i wasn't expecting that oh my gosh holly and death a snowstorm a country house old friends reunited it's going to be murder shut up oh my god guys shut up there's a fucking fort floor plan oh my god that's what we've been waiting for it's what we wanted all along Snowed in. Oh, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. There's a little envelope with my name on it with a seal. It's got like a letter from the author with like a train ticket. What is going on? <laughs> this is 
is fun. Okay, because it's like we're guests at the at the dinner. Wow. Okay. Janice Hallett says a glorious feat that intrigues, surprises, and defeats. Wow. I'm very excited for this. So this comes out in 2024. How exciting. My goodness, what an exciting gift. Okay, wow. Compared to Agatha Christie, Scandy Cozy. Oh, Scandy, how exciting. Okay, thank you so much for sending me that. That is so exciting. Now, once this rain has let up this afternoon, we are going to get our Christmas tree and decorate it. So I'll take you along with me for that. But I am gonna go keep trying to make progress in the life between us, because I think I could finish this today. I'm really, really enjoying it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep reading it. And I'll let you know what I think kind of a little bit of the way through. Every Christmas, baby, rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Every Christmas, honey, yeah. the snowman's dusting off his hat. On the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. There's something that happens with sleigh. There's a ring when December is where the children are singing. Yeah. It's Merry Christmas, baby. Christmas, baby. The snow is laying to feed deep. Now wish upon a falling. A tree sap. What do you think? <laughs> I feel like, I mean, this may be, maybe, my final christmas at this house because maybe by next christmas me and tom will hopefully have our own place and i feel like this i mean this is all my doing <laughs> the color scheme the kind of gold rose gold bronzy color scheme we went to the garden center and i really like the look of all the kind of red like vintagey red baubles so maybe i'll have a new color scheme <laughs> tree next year but then you gotta make it timeless you can't chase trends anyways christmas tree Organization is a very serious deal to me. Seriously, I've got big plans for this place. And I'm not gonna stop, yeah, till I get there. But I am now on page 224 of The Wife Between Us. So I've gotten a really good chunk of the way through it. I was right, there was a big reveal at like the halfway mark, the 150 page mark. And it's not a bad reveal. I was like, okay, you know, yeah, okay. But here's the sitch. <laughs> when a book comes out like this that is pretty popular, it's gonna, it's gonna spawn a lot of inspirations, right? And then what I think has happened, oh my God, Miko just made the cutest face. He's sitting pressed up against the radiator over there. I'm obsessed with you. Okay, what I was saying was, this book came out in 2018. It will spawn a lot of inspirations. I have then read a lot of thrillers, me personally, published 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, right? And so I've read this twist happen a lot. Now, I don't know if this was a progenitor. Ooh. Oh my God, a vocabulary, Megan. I'm a massive fan of the dictionary. I don't know if this was an originator of this twist or if it had been done many times, but I do think sometimes when you read an older thriller, that has then become very popular, but you've read a lot of things that have been inspired by it, it doesn't hit the same as it would have done at that time. Now, here's the thing, I think it's a fairly common twist. However, I can think of some books that I have read that seem a little bit similar to this in its execution, you know? I felt the same way when I read Gone Girl. Obviously Gone Girl's a much bigger book, but I felt like, oh, I've read this 
a thousand times, right? But when Gone Girl came out, it was the first to do it. But then I have personally read the books have been inspired by it. And so it doesn't hit the same for me. And that's kind of how I'm feeling with this. I'm just like, it's fine, but it's so done. It's so played out. And I, I found this past section a little bit more boring. The, the structure of the book changed from that alternating POV to a different kind of POV. And it just hasn't been working as much for me. I don't know. I don't know, I've been a little bit bored. <laughs> <laughs> this can't have been the originator of a twist like this. It must have, you know, even this was copying it from somewhere. So I'm gonna finish it this evening, hopefully. I've got some sprints with my patrons later this evening. I feel like it could have a further twist. I'm questioning... Mm, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm questioning because it's a <laughs> But I am glad to finally be reading it. I keep having like this really deja vu -y moment where I thought I'd never read this book. I just, at the rate I was going, it was never getting read. <laughs> now here I am reading it. It's kind of a moment. It's kind of a shock. It's kind of like, wow, who am I? So I'm enjoying it, but I'm not in love with it. I'll check in with you once I've finished it. Okie dokie, everyone. I finished The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen. I'm giving it a three star. It's mm, very average. <laughs> aggressively average one could say it was fine it was fine it was it was fine <laughs> it does have twists twists are present they're fairly predictable it's nothing new nothing new nothing changed same old shit you know what i mean like it's the same old shit but i did have a fun time reading it so <laughs> where does that leave us it leaves us as a three star i cannot explain to you guys enough the satisfaction I feel. You, you, I could not communicate that to you. I feel so happy. It's like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders that I have finally read this. No matter who you are, where you come from, if you've got a dream, there's no one out there that can stop you from achieving it. It was just one of those books that was emblematic of me not having read a certain amount of books for a really long time and for a long time. Like this was one I, this is always the fourth front in my mind of those books. And so to have read it, I mean, that's a five star feeling. That's a five star plus feeling. That's a five star, five star, five star feeling. You know what I mean? That is the highlight of this to me, that I finally finished it. I don't really have many more thoughts about the book too. It kept having a few twists. There are a few good twists. There's an epilogue and a good twist. You know, I'm satisfied with how this book went. It was a fun time. It didn't require me to think much. Turn the brain off, chuck it out the window, Bob's your uncle, have a good time. You know what I mean? And you know, it's not much of a win because our first episode, we got a two star. Second episode, we got a three star. However, that does mean next episode, we're going to get a four star and the episode after that, we're going to get a five star. Absolutely. That's the way this is going to work. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's not a shadow of a doubt in my mind. <laughs> It's a conspiracy theory that I'm actually interested in. I don't think I'm gonna pick up anything else by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen though. I've read now two books from them that has been aggressively mediocre. Like, I think I gave The Golden Couple two stars and I gave this three stars. I'm not interested in any of their solo work. I mean, we're just parting ways. We're parting ways. It was a good way, you know, it was like a nostalgic, satisfying last meeting, <laughs> but we're gone. We're done. <laughs> We're separated. So yeah, that was the vlog. Uh, that that was, I'm so happy that one came up, really, because I'm so happy that I finally read that. So that was episode two of Wrapped Up Retro. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you read this, let me know what you thought. And also let me know when you read it. Did you read it back in 2018 when it came out? Have you read it more recently? Because I do think that does have an effect on how someone would feel about this book. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. There'll be two more coming throughout December. I'm about to go and wrap the book for episode three to see what we get. I'm feeling a bit nervous, <laughs> but we will see. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.